So what you can also do inside of DaVinci Resolve is work on node-based color correction. So to do that, you can go around onto the color page and then here you can see nodes is an option. So this is node, uh, a node right here, means an, it's an instance of this video clip right here. And I can go around, turn the nodes view offer on just like this, as you can see. So now the thing with nodes is that you see this particular node right here and whatever color I make changes right here, you can see that it changes out in this particular node right here. So what I can do around with the node right here is right click and I can go around and add a node right here. So I'm going to go around and add in a serial node as you can see. And once I do that, you can see that this is the main node and this is the serial node right here. And if I were to go around and make changes to this particular node, now what happens is that the previous node is here. You can see that on the serial node, this is the final result. You can go around and add in a node, let's say for example, um, another node just like this as well. And it, you can make further adjustment over here on that particular node. So the benefit of doing this is you can go around and uh, enable and disable certain nodes and then work around with them. Uh, for example, let's say I really want only the output of this node, then I can go around, break out the connection and straightly connect it out with the output right here. So what you see right here is leftover nodes right here. And this is where the input actually is. And this is where the output comes from. And this is the final output right here. So I can go around over here and click and drag this back onto the green arrow right here to connect it back. Let's say I do not want the green arrow, so I can go around straightly connect it out to this node over here as well and connect that out into the output. And you can see the particular output just like that. So that is how you can work as you can see, and you can bring that out right here and get this node output right there as well. So I can go around and change the nodes right here. So you can see that certain settings are applied to this node while certain settings are applied to that node. You can go around over here and change around the position of the node just like this as well. So what happens is that certain settings are there in one node and certain settings are there in another node. So what you can do is you can manage those nodes out uh, step by step so that if you want to remove out a certain effect, let's say for example, I'm going to go around and add in a node. Let's say I'm going to go around and add in a serial node before so that a node is added in. Let's say on this particular node, I'm going to go around and uh, increase out, uh, let's say for example, um, uh, a brightness right here. You can see that now brightness is applied right here and it, it, is, it is followed up in this node as well. So brightness is here. And if I want to remove the brightness, I can simply take up the connection and connect it to that particular node and the brightness node is not there anymore. But you can go around over here, make this the primary node over here as well and connect it out so that the brightness is pre-applied before anything else is like this. And that is the advantage of working with nodes. You can go around and make a few adjustments in each of the nodes and then just remove out uh, certain things that you don't want uh, from the nodes. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.